Got inside his head? Who knows? There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <sighs> We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we Stop just that, want please. money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this okay. one. Okay, give me everything you got. Here. Quick, Not he's got a bad nature. Oh, nothing else. Kindly open that gate and let my acquaintance inside. Now, I'm gonna need everything you got on. Okay, okay. Ain't got nothing else but this. Check them all, Mr. M. I don't want anyone feeling left out. Hand over all your money now. Quick. All right, there's everything, okay? There's nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That greasy son of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go now! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. All right, shoot him. Stay. We got more.
until nothing moves. This is our chance to move. Let's go. I think we're clear. 
You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Yeah, we each got $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us? What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. Just a moment. You don't see. You must have done some real trouble to acquire this kind of price in your head. Bye. How do you do? demonstration of my most marvelous machine, the Humane Electric Ending Facilitator. <laughs> A chair so powerful, it Sir. takes the sinner back to God. 
<laughs> come around. Come around. Come around. Bring, bring the children to the front. They're about to watch history as this poor unfortunate Mr. Wilson J. McDaniels. Guilty of murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry mm. atones for his sins and future sinners through the warm, peaceful embrace of electricity. Not the savagery of a hanging or the, the brutality of a firing squad. No, 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 no. This is execution the way God intended it. Peacefully, calmly, and cleanly. There, our subject is ready. Have you any last words, Mr. McDaniel? There, there. You're going to be in a better place. Uh, stay calm. Uh, breathe deep and repent, or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the calm removal of this man's existence. <laughs> So humane! His life may have been troubled, but his passing is peaceful! Kill him already! <laughs> Somebody shoot me, please. Oh, let's get up. You don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. How do you do? Hey now. Hey. Sorry, ma'am.
You doing okay? Mr. Roscoe was sweating the game and came up broke as a belly up turtle. Nobody said life was gonna be easy out here. I heard old Jeb is out on leg bail from back east. I'd like a room, please. Okay, room is all set. Just head up here. All that is holy. Thanks, mister. Out of the way! So, you found me. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Stay back for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> what, you're a vampire? I have been called many names over the centuries. Now go, or I'll feed on you too. You're a goddamn idiot. Hey, I'll suck you dry.
Oh, Arthur, it's you. Come in. Where's what's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. Well, please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Arthur, I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... But what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh, I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Arthur. Come on, girl. I want to go and say those awful things about me, buddy. <laughs> Best not to make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is gonna hurt, but it's for the best. <laughs> Rather bring him around the back. No, oh, Jean-Marc, Jean-Marc, uh, I've missed you. I've missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. 
Jean-Marc, can you hear me? Uh, where am I? Le mieux. What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Jean-Marc. Thank the Lord, our friend was there to find you. Really? I don't remember so well. No, oh, Jean-Marc. We had to save you for yourself, don't you see? We'll look after you now, won't we, Mr. Arthur? They will see you, come on. Quick. Here. My brother, my brother, Jean-Marc. Oh, we've been so... I promise to change. I know. Ah, uh, well, this silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We... We will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You... you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, how I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're... you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. And Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? Mm -hmm. Thought I might. But uh, all I did was love too much. Love. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth you out of me, it. buddy. And him. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lemieux's a foul rat. But I'm a man of my word. Let me live, and I'll, I'll... I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on, please. Please, come on! You want to show us a sad little man, would you? Uh, mayor's orders is the mayor's orders, see? You should have stayed in line. I might be a brute, but... I'm not a paid killer. Get out of here. Don't mention me, boy. I give you my word! going after them, are you? I'd wager you're more than up to it. I heard that Laidlaw's being put up near Catfish Jackson's. He's a piece of work, but he's still got friends. Fine and dandy. When I took the poster, you said this bounty's got friends? You his friend? That's what you meant? Me? Oh, no, certainly not. I meant there's folks sympathetic to the man, and likely is not to be assisting him. What else I need to know about this fella with the bounty, Laidlaw? Well, he's a Scotsman, but most of the folks around here are as well, if you go back far enough. Good and bad. 
He's a rough feller in need of rough handling. I'm sure you understand. Well, I got a bounty to chase. They're Hello. looking for that one alive, I believe. Do your utmost. can add arson to those charges. Come on. Just isn't your day, is it? Here we go. I'll get ye! Okay. The sheriff of Rhodes is waiting. You call this a hog tie and you miserable bastard? I'm tied laundry tighter. You're lucky I haven't he slipped out of this rope and slit your damn throat! Some kind of bounty hunter you are. I've met tougher lassies in a schoolyard. Got caught by a bounty man with half a heed, so I did. Hunter, you are just the bloody worst. Absolutely terrible, man. It's embarrassing getting caught by you. You wee little bobat. You dribble of pish. You monkey's arse. So tell me, you like pornography, lad? You know, exotic stuff. <laughs> Laddie. I said, I said, do you like lewd images? <laughs> Breasts and arse and all the business, only arty like. I, I can get you some photographs of wee tiny folk up to all sorts. How's about it? It'll blow your mind. They're real fairies. Laddie, they're a thing to behold. Send your mind into a fair old spin. Are we there yet? How long's this blooming taking you? Send your horse to a knacker's yard when we're done, cause the old knack's past it. Good for glue, and no much else. And it smells of arse back here. 
Okay. Almost there. I can deal with you. Ugh, about time, you doozy bastard. Here's your Scotsman. Nearly torched me, but I got him. Oh, dear Mr. Laidlaw. That is going to count against you. Cell's there for him. I'll have none of it. I came peacefully. Well, like hell you did. The blooming cheek! Bounty's the same whether you was nearly inflamed or not, I'm afraid. I'll take it, if you'll take him. I didn't need to do nothing to that man. I doubt you'll find too many more posters going up in the station house, sir. Reckon Rhodes has reached the end of that long road to respectability. Finally. I ain't no Scott at all, keeping me locked up like this. It's folks like you that brought this town to its knees. Bad breeding. Our kind has to stick together. Oi, are your people from the Highlands or the Low Sheriff? Whatever clan you're from, it's one of the treacherous inbred ones. This is all a grave error, Sheriff Thomas. You, sir, are a disgrace to all humanity. Hey, from one Scot to another, show me clemency. Oh, that cell will be empty soon enough but not for the reason you want it to be. Good to see you back. Hey there, Arthur. Lenny. You've been doing good. Thanks, Arthur. Keep at it. Sure, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. Hello, Arthur. Yeah. That's how you get a good point. Come on, my turn now, please. Oh, no. We don't need you getting in no more trouble. <laughs> you all right, Jack? I'm just fine. Why? No reason. Got some guts, that boy. Always said he took after his mother. <laughs> How's it going? Not good. Bad day, good day. Mr. Morgan. No slacking, Miss Jackson. Hey.
So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people, let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But! 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. 
there simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah. We need to move. And soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No. He'd say, let's go. I'm here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. I know. I... I... I'm sorry, son. It's just the endless debate about everything is wearing me down. The others, I can take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. I'm behind. Blackwater. Valentine, Rhodes, Sean, Kieran, I promise, none of it will be in vain. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the higher ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you none. Except for the night folks sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better.
Whoa. Stop where you are. That's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Someone there? Jules? Over here! That must be him. Hey! 
tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. And where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I fell. Okay. <laughs> and uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. Please get the boat, mister. I've been up here for hours. Got the scale. It's over here. Yeah. It's stuck. I uh -huh. uh. got it loose. Go. Good man. All right. Let's get back to the dock. Yes, please. Let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Scared out. Now what? I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we clear. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> we'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. We got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull.
he's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him! He's under the water. Coming right for us. Okay. I think it's had enough. Now, Jesus. Can we get back now? You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and mad. That's unusual. Normally the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. He's a bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. Be safe. We got monsters out here. Well. <laughs>